this video, I will show you how to replace the touch valve on a Schmaltz vacuum block. If the touch valve has been damaged during CNC machining, you don't necessarily have to replace the entire vacuum block. It is often sufficient to simply replace the touch valve. However, if the domes have also been damaged, the entire vacuum block should be replaced. Otherwise, it will be no longer possible to achieve dimensionally accurate results. This product is the most common touch valve from Schmaltz, which is installed in a wide variety of vacuum blocks. If you use an older series of vacuum blocks, a brass touch valve was used. Those are no longer available, but can easily be replaced by the plastic version. Please note that touch valve versions without holes cannot be replaced. The complete vacuum block has to be exchanged if this touch valve is damaged. To replace the touch valve, the suction plate should be removed first. The corners of the vacuum block offer the least resistance. After the suction plate has been removed, you can see whether the aluminum capsule of the touch valve sticks out from the vacuum block housing or is level with it. This is relevant for removing the touch valve. I will explain both variants now. If the touch valve protrudes from the vacuum block housing, the touch valve can be gripped with flat nose pliers and pulled out with light turning movements. Touch valves that are level with the housing cannot just be pulled out. The plastic part of the touch valve or the remaining pieces after the damage should be removed with pincers. Insert a metal drill, ideally of the size 7.6, into the remaining aluminum capsule in the housing. The drill should rotate slowly. You should not destroy the capsule with the drilling, but set it into a rotary motion with which the capsule is pulled out. Clean the hole in the housing to remove residues and dirt after removing the capsule. Afterwards, the new touch valve can be pressed into the vacuum housing carefully with a hammer. Place something heavy between the touch valve and the hammer. This way the plastic part is pressed into the capsule so that you only hammer onto the metal capsule and the plastic part is protected. The touch valve must now be hammered back into the housing to the previous position. That means either flush or slightly protruding from the housing. If the touch valve is at the correct height, you can feel some resistance. This process should be carried out carefully. If the touch valve is hammered in too deep, the vacuum block will be damaged and cannot be used anymore. Now the suction plate can be reattached. It is helpful to wet the vacuum block a little bit with a bit of soapy water. Visit schmaltz.com for further information or contact one of our sales representatives.